Last week, I noticed that none of my Toya products were working in my Home Assistant smart home. If you don't know what Toya is, it's kind of like a Chinese IoT service that allows all sorts of brands to build IoT devices like light bulbs, smart ceiling fans, smart plugs, all sorts of stuff. And they all come together and I was able to get them into Home Assistant using a Toya plugin from Home Assistant. I woke up one day and none of my Toya devices were working. I checked the Toya plugin and all the devices were gone. I tried everything to try to get that back in. And fortunately for you, I figured out what it was. So here we go. Just for clarification, I don't know how the Toya plugin actually broke, but Home Assistant already has a fix coming out for that. So that's actually gonna be the fix is a Home Assistant update. But at first how you had to do it was uh, you had to become a developer with the Toya app and use the Toya cloud and all sorts of stuff where you had to get an API and all this technical stuff where basically you got that information into Home Assistant and now that information is not there anymore. So thankfully, someone in Home Assistant, one of the uh, developers, they figured out a way that instead of going through that whole Toya Cloud stuff, all you have to do is you have the Toya app or the Smart Life app, which is practically the same thing. And there's a like a user ID code of some sort. And if you put that into Home Assistant, it can pull all the information from that app and put it back into Home Assistant. So Let's show you how I did it. Um, today is February uh, 6th, 2024. So hopefully by the time you're actually watching this, uh, the Home Assistant update is already out. I had to go on a Home Assistant beta to get this early. I think it's coming out tomorrow on the 7th. Um, so hopefully by the time you watch this, uh, all you have to do is open the new Toya plugin and it should work. But for some reason, if that's not, let me show you what I did yesterday night. Okay, so for starters, here is the Toya plugin that I was using. Uh, this is the new one. So the way how I got the new one is you first go to settings and then I checked for updates and I did have a couple of uh, Home Assistant core updates. What I did is you go to the three dots and you can, there's a, uh, right now since I'm in the beta channel, um, I can leave it, but I joined the beta and it gave me a new Home Assistant upgrade, like an update that has all their beta features. So once I added that, then all you have to do is go to settings, go to device and services. You say add integration and you can say Toya. You click on that and there's the local one that I was telling you about, um, a little too technical even for me. So you click on that and it says, enter your smart life or Toya user code. That's the code that I was telling you. You can find the code in the smart life app or Toya app in the settings account security screen and enter the code shown um, on the user code field. The user code is case sensitive. Please be sure to enter it exactly as shown in the app. So once you add in that code and you just follow ex that exact location where they tell you, so it's in settings, account, and security screen. It's like a six or seven digit code. You put that in, you hit submit, and it pulls in all your devices. So I've got eight devices. So I've got some smart ceiling fans, I've got some smart plugs, all sorts of stuff, and it pulls it right in and everything's working perfectly. So if your Toyo devices are not working with Home Assistant, definitely try this out. Uh, big shout out to Home Assistant for figuring this out. They didn't only fix the problem, but they made it way easier for new users to add Toya products in. And like Toya is kind of that hub that you don't really think about that you'll need. But when I started Home Assistant, I had a ton of just third party light bulb switches that would not be able to get into Home Assistant if it wasn't for Toya. So it is really cool. I know it's a Chinese server and everything. Uh, but these are dumb devices that uh, only turn on and off and you can restrict their uh, access to the internet and stuff. So anyway, huge shout out to Home Assistant. And I hope this helped you figure out how to get Home Assistant uh, Toya into Home Assistant to work again. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.